two weeks ago was here. Yes. He issued you a verbal warning. Yes, he did. So now I'm issuing you a formal summons. So let me see your summons. You are now being- Go ahead, go ahead, no problem. I don't name. have ID. I'm gonna give you my- Okay, okay. Yeah. Can I get your name and badge number, please? Hello? Can I get your name and badge? No? Can I talk to you for a second? What's going on? Why are you taking my phone? Relax, relax. Why are you taking relax. my phone? Why are you taking my phone? Relax. I'm recording. I understand that. I need to talk to you. You don't need to talk to me. I ain't going to show you nothing. They will arrest me then. Put your hands on your back. You under arrest. What are you under arrest for? You have a charge for obstruction. Obstruction. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving once again into the wild laugh or cry stories from the world of law, where justice and power clash in an unrelenting battle. What happens when an ordinary citizen, simply exercising their legal rights and fulfilling their obligations, unexpectedly finds themselves confronted by police intervention? Let's go through the details together, uncover overlooked aspects, and discuss the long-term impacts this case might have on the community and the legal system. Another grand reunion by some overly enthusiastic police officers. Something. This is just a retaliation, a following up by the, by the sergeant who I made a complaint on. He contacted somebody who he worked with. That's the... According to the Fourth Amendment, police must have a court-issued warrant and reasonable cause to believe a crime has occurred in order to conduct a search. It's evident here that the officers violated this citizen's rights by continuously monitoring license plates and demanding identification without just cause. The citizen suspects this may be retaliation after he filed a complaint with authorities. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. Um, yes. It's okay. No, do not. Do not touch my property. I'm, 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 addressing, I'm addressing you. Do not touch my property. Call your sergeant. Call your, call your supervisor. Do not touch my property. Do not touch my property. Do not touch my property. Touch my property. Call your, call your supervisor. Right there. We're going to tell you again, the supervisor right, right there, there in the gray shirt. Okay. Well, you need a plate. Go ahead and submit it over there. Do me a favor. Yeah. Do you have your ID? I'm not giving you no ID. I reserve my right under common law of the land. Did I commit a crime? Who is a victim? Who is a victim? I do not. I do not. City of North. We're going to give you a summons. All right. I'm not giving you no ID. You can give it to him. That, that's what it belongs to. Why are they running up late? This is a Fourth Amendment... Uh, Violation. This is all retaliation. This is all retaliation. Retaliation. That's fine. All right. Do not take my property. This is a private property. This is not for commerce. This is not for hire. This is not for hire. All this. They still send a letter. They still send a letter. They're saying the city about to take a lien on it for no reason. As a retaliation. Nothing at all. Parked there for over a year. It just happened because of the internal affair complaint. Because of the internal affair complaint. So all the sergeant is sending you to do this. All the internal affair complaint. All the internal affair complaint. That's the main reason. It has nothing to do with me. Yeah, I'm building. I'm building my. I'm building my. I'm, I'm building a, a trailer. Simple as that. It's on the street. Though. No, it's not. It's not. I'm not building. It's not the street. You're trying to tell us it's not the street. Oh, is this the street? Okay. Yes. No problem. No problem. No problem. You want to write the summit? I'll give it to you. I'll give you my under the rest. I'll give you my information. No problem. No problem. They just don't want to touch it. Any of the charges. I'm being honest with you. Detective, I serve my right. That's the only reason. It's clear the citizen faces the threat of arrest, as evidenced by his compliance in providing his name and phone number. This action not only infringes on his personal freedom, but also reflects an abuse of power by public authorities. Uh, it's on my right. Sir. 
I don't have. A, I'm not listen, giving you ID. Listen to me first. I'm not giving you ID and whatever you need to take. Sorry, a, please do me a favor. Yeah. Please don't put that in my. You can record me. I, I'm sorry. I'm. Yeah. Just you can. You walk. Listen to me, right? Yes. Yeah, so, you. Sergeant Frank Murchison, two weeks ago, was here. Yes. He issued you a verbal warning. Yes, he did. So now I'm issuing you a formal summons. So let me see your summons. Give me. I don't have ID. I'm gonna give you my my name, my name and information. You go write okay, it down. Yeah. Do That's it. the same ID. Under the arrest. Under the threat of uh, violence. Okay. Under the threat of violence. Okay. Not under arrest. I'm not under detain. I'm giving you. I'm giving you. Okay. So I don't have to move. I don't. I don't have to. I did not commit a. Under the arrest. Moa. M O A. Last name. Mengesha. M E N. G E. Eleven twenty-two eighty-two. You have a valid driver's license? No, I don't. You do not? Mm -mm. So you were just driving that vehicle? I'm traveling. No, there is no such thing as driving. Okay, no problem. You can write it down, too. You can write it down, too. I already addressed you. I reserve all my rights yeah. under common law, law of the land. I reserve my rights under... No problem. You can write a ticket, no problem. And also, the owner's getting a ticket, too, for the, the vehicle. You're giving me a ticket, or you're giving the owner a ticket? You are getting, both of you guys are getting summonses. No problem, no problem. Yeah, Give it to me. No problem. Yeah. Private property. You have authority to do that? Yes, I do. You do have authority to do that? Okay, no problem. You do not have authority to give anybody ticket on a private property. That property belongs to the city of New York. It don't matter. You don't have no authority. It's a ticket. I'm just addressing you. Just know the law. Please know the law. You cannot give somebody private property because of retaliation. They say all type of things need to be boarded. It need to be something. This is just a retaliation, a following up by the, by the sergeant who I made a complaint on. Quiz. That's the... the right now. Yep. What just happened? Where's Keith at? Keith! I don't know what just happened. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not, I'm not going nowhere. I'm not. You just write the ticket. It's not a, you know, it's a summon. It's not a criminal offense. Please learn the law. Just learn the law. It's a summon. I gave you my name under the rest. You're given a ticket for being on a private property, yes? Keith left? Oh, this is happening. This is all retaliation. I'll get everybody's uh, everybody's information as soon as I got my summon. As soon as I get my summon, I'll get everybody's information. This, this is a retaliation. This is all the officer what's, what's show. I'm just. Name, I already, I already gave them. I already gave it to him. I already gave. He wrote it down and everything. I reserve my right under common law, law of the land. Yes, you see, everybody know the story because it's retaliation, my brother. <laughs> just to let you know that, officer, you know that too. It has nothing to do with it. The other officer came in. They had a conversation. They left contact. I do not want to be contacted with. This is an unwanted contact. Consider harassment. Don't worry. I reserve all my rights. They do not have... There's no crime. No injured party, no victim. There's no crime. Since I reserve all my rights under common law, law of the land, you do not have any authority. The citizen repeatedly states he has done nothing illegal and invokes the First Amendment to defend his rights against the police. If the officers cannot present any legitimate reason, detaining and inspecting his property could constitute a serious violation of privacy as well as laws against abuse of authority. Overnight or maybe, you, you know, I'm not trying to say, I you know, I left that in there. As simple as that. He doesn't own the property. If he don't want me to park, I'm not going to park in there. I, I, I'm really not going to park. This is not no, he told me, yes, it's still... It just shows to you the city don't own this property. It shows that. I'm just telling you, it shows the city don't own this property. All this, I just say, no, he, like, I, I clean. I have got it out. That's all. No, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't have to worry about it. I can promise you that once you leave this whole thing alone, this area, you won't have a problem. And we understand that this is connected to that location. Yeah. This is my garage. That's the only reason. He asked him to gut it out, whatever it is, before they used to dump stuff in there. I promise you that. The other, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, not sergeant, but the people supposed to, uh, the city, who said? Hey, Mo, we have to let you know everything we were. I really know. I don't have no problem. I really want it to be recorded. I'm not, you know, as long as my, my rights is not being violated, I'm okay.
Just, uh, Those are not me. Honest in my life. Those are across the street. Honest to God, it's not, it has nothing to do with me. It has not, I do not violate the neighborhood. They, I, I clean everything every night. I clean the leaves every night. I do every to do something. I want to do it because that's who I am. I do not have anybody, anybody, and everybody in the neighborhood. There's nothing I do. It. Over a year, I take care of this. Nothing to do with you, but I understand you got offended. I understand. That's why I'm getting a summit. All right, I'm getting a summit for what? For retaliation. I have a right. It's my first amendment right to, to yell. I just don't want you to be disrespectful. Officer, you are a public servant. You have to have be able to de-escalate. There's a de-escalation training on perp to escalate everything so you could do whatever with commerce. This is called commerce. Extortion. Because of your feelings, exactly this will happen. Every sergeant who came in, who I address them, I write them the law. Every time this happened, I have no. You, I, then I ask you, I ask you every time you. You know the issue is it's not me. The issue is there's a lot of the neighborhood kids standing around. I did not bring them in there. They always been in there. This this sergeant lied and say, all they do is sell drug out of that, that car. And they had a car for a year, oh, for nothing. It's this guy's personal feeling. I understand he was a top sergeant, whatever it is, when he was, a, whatever office he owned. I don't know his name. I did not do anything wrong. All this is retaliation. Do you, all this to being called? You understand what I'm saying? This showing, we, it's like we are over budgets. For no crime. No crime. As the officers, you are not. You are not here to put somebody committed a crime. There's a victim. There's an injured party. You have to have all that. You cannot just use it up. You understand? This is called a de-escalation. I've never, 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 never seen this kind of chaos. In New Jersey, three out of 460 law enforcement officers disciplined for misconduct were dismissed in 2023. The state recently enacted strict disciplinary measures to improve accountability and transparency in policing. How will the bravado of the officers in this video fare in the end? I need to know, I want the whole neighborhood to know that I'm being harassed. You know, every day, every day, the whole neighborhood, can listen to me first, please, please. Every day, every day, everybody pass by, they ask me, are you okay? They're still harassing the whole neighborhood. I'm sorry. Every day they ask me, they're going to come and ask me, are you okay now? The bell have a personal issue with me. That's it. Besides that, everybody would not would not say one bad thing about me. The only reason you see everybody, it's not they know what. Uh, even if I leave, it's gonna happen. The same thing gonna happen. Thing nothing to do with me. The only reason is because I know how to assert my rights. That's the the bigger thing is stopping them for what I want to do. It's not. I'm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a billboard up to teach our constitutional law every time. I don't have no, the, the, I want child to know, all right, we did not do anything wrong. This is a personal feeling. You can tell, it's not because they, all these people didn't come again. Just leave those alone. We just take care of this right now. Because it was not called for me. They're gonna do exactly the same. I do not have no problem. Let me get my ticket. <laughs> because I take care of it. Nobody else cleaning it. It used to dump in there. We have a garbage, uh, a dump truck, a dump truck. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Take it, you can give me. This is sad. This is sad, I'm sorry. You see, they have to get me. Ain't nothing, nothing happened. They don't have no authority. I know, I never committed a crime. I never was here. Watch it, how you doing? This is under duress. I'm much rather. Can I ask you sometimes? Sometimes I understand. I understand there was. Neg I wish to negatively when you come last time, even though we had a. You know, I'm talking about. I wish I had a chance to have conversation. It's mind blowing. Mind blowing. It's mind blowing. The amount of harassment I got. Don't harass me. 
don't think you could don't think you could violate my rights because somebody else say something I didn't do. You, you understand? It's, it's the officer's job to see if this is done or not. If this is legitimate, I was I was accused. What else I was accused of? Oh, selling drugs. They had guns. What? Where does this came from? I, I, I'm just building. It's like, you know, I'm passionate about what I want to do. I'm building. It's not because I'm not a, let me put it this way, place to live. I chose to be here. You remember when I was in the shop? I have, I sleep in there. You know, I understand the need to protect my property. I have a need because every time I move, like I leave home, whatever it is. And now on top of that, I have to worry about uh, 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 officers. Do I, I'm a mechanic, I do everything. It's not like, you know, I'm not like, don't, don't let them lie to you. No, they no, tell no. you I'm running a mechanic shop. All oh, this is a fringe, they have an air filter, whatever, whatever it is. I just put it on for them. The video concludes without any change in police behavior, indicating that this issue persists without intervention or resolution from authorities. This raises broader issues concerning power, ownership, and the dynamics between citizens and law enforcement agencies. This suspicious officer made quite the memorable greeting by warning the filming citizen, this is a police private lot. Okay, well, this is like a p police private lot? Like, oh, it's private? Where does it say that? Well, I'm just, it, it, this is the police lot. Where does it say it's, it's a private? police lot. I'm just asking what you're doing. I'm just asking. If there's no clear signage, the citizen's filming in this area is legal. The officer's interference could be infringing on the citizen's First Amendment rights to freely record and move in public spaces. I got gloves on, so I'm not gonna be able to zoom into that well. I guess I'll keep the chicken on the glove. Yeah. What What's your name and badge number? Uh, I'm Detective Lenski with the Quincy Police. Six nine five one. Six nine five one. What are you up to? Huh? Police private lot. Like. Oh, it's private. Where does it say that? Well, I'm just. It, it, this is the police lot. Where does it say it's, it's the private? Police lot. I'm just asking what you're doing. I'm just asking. There's a sign right here that says police parking only. Right oh, here. and it says like no trespassing. It says. No, I don't think it says no trespassing. Does it I'm say? Just asking you what you're doing. Say right. authorized personnel only or anything? Yeah, it does. Right over here. It does. Yeah. All right. Where? Over here. Where? Over here. Because I didn't, I didn't see right it. Here. I didn't see it there's when you, right when you pull in. Over here. Yeah, police vehicles only, right? right. Yeah. Chapter 41, Section 98D states that officers must provide identification when on duty. The citizen references this law to emphasize that the officer is violating protocol and that he has the right to file a complaint about the officer's conduct. Can I get your name and badge number, please? Hello. Can I get your name and badge? Chapter 41, Section 98D. You don't want to abide by that? Your name and badge is C1. We do a public records. You already came by. You didn't ask me. What's your name and badge? I'm asking right now. Just be professional, bro. What's your name and badge? I don't have a badge. Are you with the FBI? What's that? What's your name and badge, bro? Climb is 095. Climb is 09, what? 55. 55? Five. Five, five. Yeah. So you all set down, do you need anything? You're not with the five. FBI? Did I say yes, I was? Sir. Man, you're not you're not used to people not answering you, huh? Uh, you get you're getting you frustrated. Need help. You don't need help. I'm all Did I ever ask for help? That's all. Polite. Yeah, telling me that I, I can't be back here? He telling me I can't be back here? Well, just, yeah, right now he did, but he was telling me I couldn't be back here. What's your name and badge, bro? Come on. Are you with the FBI? Why would yes I be with no? them? I don't answer questions. Are you an FBI agent? I don't answer questions. Would I have to answer that if I was? Are you with the FBI? Why would you think that? You guys under investigation? Are you? <laughs> you guys under investigation by the FBI? He thinks I'm an FBI agent. Oh, that's a fair question. Oh, okay. You could be. Cool. 
we know each other? I don't know. I think you might be a friend of mine pulling a gag on each other. Oh, okay. All right. That's what I think. I think that would be hilarious if we did. You look familiar to me. Like You look like someone that I know. That I might know. Are you pulling a joke on me? So are you going to give me name and badge? Or? I'll give it to you, it, but I don't want you to walk away. It in any case, this is one of the gentler encounters I've seen. The officer eventually provides his information and wraps up with a humorous recognition goodbye. It'd be great. You know, It'd be I, great. I'd you want to talk to you some more. All right, cool. Kelly, 6133. Kelly, 6133. Thank yeah. you, Kelly. Appreciate that. Friend of mine. Like, do we know each other? I don't think so. You look, you look awful. Yeah, I don't know why you keep saying it, even though well, I said we don't. sounds familiar to me, too. Well, I mean, I'm. So is this is this candid camera? Are you actually? I'm very well known on the internet, so you might recognize my voice from that. I don't. Maybe some roll call videos or anything no. like that. Maybe. No. Oh yeah. Can I get your name and badge number, please? Climus. Climus. How do you spell that? Okay. All right. But what, uh, what, what? So what do you do? I go around filming the police. In the police station parking lot. Wherever I want. Wherever oh, I can yeah. walk around. Oh. I'm not saying that to you. Exactly. What I'm saying is, why would you be coming to the police the police station parking lot? What? If I'm filming police, why would I not come to the police station parking lot? There's, not, there's nothing going on. There is once you walk up with a camera. Well, what are you looking for? Looking for tyrants. Tyrants? Well, like people that violate the Constitution? Yeah, man. See, there you go. That, that makes two of us. Yeah. So. That's good. Yeah. I advocate for people that don't have voices, such as the homeless, stuff like that. Is that this is that happening right here, or is that across the way? Across the way. Oh, the well, that's that's the old one. Oh, okay. No, nah, man. No. Nah. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm not even. At first, now now I think you're not joking, but at first I thought you were joking. I, I'm I, not even from this area. That's cool. I mean, you guys will find out who I am after I leave I, anyway. I'm not, honestly, buddy. Yeah. Huh? I, Just something like, oh, it's probably this channel or whatever. You know honestly, what I'm saying? Honestly, I'm a, I'm on a, I'm a, I'm a big YouTube channel. No, I so. don't. What is it? Uh I usually don't give that. Okay. You guys will be tagged in the video, I'm sure. Okay. Or the, the, I'm watching it. Yeah. I right. really care what you do. Yeah. I mean, YouTube, I got... It's uh, legal for you to have a camera. Yeah. And walk around. Absolutely. Maybe we knew each other. Nah, nah. <laughs> you should do it on a nice day, though, when it's not raining. Hey, I already had plans to come out, so yeah. I wasn't going to let... Thank you. See you later. All right, man. I'm going to uh, continue right. to do the little filming. All and right. Well, the, all right. the uh, identification afterwards. Yeah. Well, I appreciate I, honestly, that. Honestly, you know. All right. All right, man. Take care. Have a good one. We got a bad sticker. You know whose car that is right there? Uh, is it the department's? This car behind me? It might be an undercover, I don't know. But it's got a bad sticker, yeah. All right. Just want to let them know. I'm only giving them a verbal warning this time, though. <laughs> All right? I like that. Yeah. You know the lingo. So it's, uh, it's about four months past two. So is this one. There's no front plate. This one too. It's all good, man. Have a good one. It is uh This is where the uh they said I was interfering last time. All conflicts can be resolved peacefully when both sides show mutual respect. When law enforcement combines seamlessly with the pursuit of justice, the bonds within society only grow stronger. Let's take a closer look at how the trust between citizens and law enforcement is breaking down. What am I supposed to do when I'm put in this situation? Like I'm, like I'm saying, I almost lost my trust, man. That was my home. Every police officer in society is expected to understand citizens' basic rights before enforcing the law, yet many officers still blatantly infringe on citizens' First Amendment rights by preventing individuals from recording without any valid reason. Are we sure? Yeah,
Why are you taking my phone? Relax, relax. Why are you taking my phone? Why are you taking my phone? I'm recording. I understand that. I need to talk to you. You don't need to take my stuff like that. Just for filming, this man was regarded as a suspect in the eyes of the police. But suspicion alone cannot turn someone into a criminal without reasonable cause. That's why the Fourth Amendment protects this citizen from the officer's demands for personal information. What's your name? Do you have ID on you, sir? Sir. Sir, can I talk to you for a second? Hey, partner. We don't have a problem with you reporting us. Yes. No, I'm trying but, to talk but, to you. but but he's he's asking you some, some some simple questions because, as you know, across this country, please, for no reason, right? You read about it every day in the news about people getting ambushed and so forth. So not only do you have a right. To, hold on, hold on. I'll give you a chance to talk. I'm explaining to you the reason for our contact, which is I would think would. So. Just like you have a right to report, we have a right to come talk to you about it. Since coming into the parking lot to come here on the police was to the people. And if that's your I opinion, was incriminated by the San Mateo police. Okay. There's nothing to talk about. Yeah, actually, there is a lot to talk about. I'm a supervisor here, and if you need to make a complaint or something like that, we okay. Well, if it's not to your satisfaction, I can maybe give you some other options. So we can go in and sit down and talk about, you can simply ID yourself. I'm, I'm homeless. I was living in my truck. Uh -huh. I, I stay out of my truck and uh, Officer Chris Luce almost made me lose my... Is there any way we can talk to so, you? So why don't you, why don't you help me out here and give me your name so I know who I'm... Do you understand I can look the Fourth into, Amendment? I do understand the Fourth okay. Amendment. Okay. So that's why I'm asking for your name so I can look into what you just talked about. Luce, you, you'll find, he can tell you all about it. You want to drive? He knows what he did. You drive an old truck? Sir, sir, are you going to have a conversation or no? Let me, let, let me ask you this question, because maybe we'll just cut to the chase. Are you on purpose? I don't know, question. Okay. What evidence you, do you have you, that I'm under, uh, that I have uh, a I don't. I don't have any. By asking that question, if you are, you are now obligated to inform me of that. But what that question, do you that have? question we asking you means you legally need to state whether you are or not. That is a condition of your probation order. Thank you. Then you answered the questions. That, that's all I was asking for. This doesn't have to be... Your, your officer made it like... With the rising number of complaints filed by citizens against the police, it's easy to see why this individual has completely lost faith in law enforcement. In this case, if the police persist in requiring cooperation, they may be infringing on the citizen's freedom. My officer isn't me. My officer isn't Chris him. Luke, you guys are a part of a team. You guys we're, work at... We're, the, you're, we're, all members of the human, we're all members of the human race. One of your race. officers almost made me like you about that. Okay, so how do we take steps to fix that? What is he this? Almost made what, me lose my truck. To help you with that, if you're in a situation where things are bad, how do we take well, steps? Chris Lewis showed me that? you guys aren't there to help. Joel, come out and deal with the dog, and he he didn't. As a public servant, he didn't help me. He incriminated me. He, he told me that I was trying to have animal control come out and deal with the dog for the second time. He told me that the dog couldn't be out there. Okay. But there was no reason for him to push that upon me and say that, that I had to identify myself. He must not understand the American was it, flag. Was it your dog? And it was not my dog. I explained that to him and he okay. still proceeded to want me to extend the, the Fourth Amendment. Hey, sir, do you mind getting out of the roadway so you don't get hit by a car? I don't want you to get injured. I'm not in the roadway. I'm right yeah, we'll give you room over here. That these cameras work both ways, right? Yeah, I know. Okay. All right. Because usually they get turned off. Sure, I'm not here to try to change your mind about how you feel about police or anything like that. But what I will say is people with just common courtesy and respect, like we're treating you, goes a long well, way. Why didn't Chris Lewis do that? We're not talking about. Put me in this situation. He didn't put you in this situation. You're putting yourself in this situation. I, he don't, he, he's when he arrests, to, trying to help the city out. Do, he's got nothing to do with you here right now. If you want to make a complaint about Chris Lewis and come I in already and talk did. about that. It seems like he, he, he thinks that uh, my violates weren't righted, so so be it. Okay. I don't have to write another complaint. Okay, then, then Chris. Just gathering content for a story. Your content, that's fine. And you're So you told me you are not on probation or parole, correct? Nope. Okay, very good, sir. Is there anything else we can do for you? I don't think so. Okay. 
told me that they're not. Do you want any resources from us? You, that's on you, November the sec. On November the third, I was trying to cross El Camino. Uh, Officer G Moore says that he says that if I'm giving the paramedic attitude, that he can put me in handcuffs right now because there's three. Okay. Again, you don't. You want to stand out here and film and make statements but not actually come in and actually have a conversation through the complaint process or you want some resources we might be able to provide I went over to a request to speak so, with Susan so, uh, three times. I was denied. Over. Okay. Sam Fitzsimmer, what code for? You can sit here and record all day long. Right? If you're making a story, that's great. Is there anything we can do for you that's rational and something that we can actually help you with right now? When I needed help, the police didn't help me. Okay. What do you think we're so doing how are you going to help me now? I'm talking about right now. Is there any, whether if you take a complaint or help try to help you find some resources, anything that we need here, or do you just want to be left? What am I supposed to do when I'm put in this situation? Like I'm, like I'm saying, I almost lost my truck, man. Okay, that doesn't answer my question. I'd be more than happy to sit down with you and try to help you help you out. Time, they told me that. Okay. The officer didn't violate my rights, so that, okay. that's what the police think. All right, so, so and I'm going to stick with I'm, their decision. I'm case closed. You don't want any assistance from me. I wanted assistance a long time ago. Okay. I, I came over here over three times. Why didn't they okay. talk to me? It's quite possible I wasn't here. Well, they could have told me we can have you speak with this officer, so and so. Okay, giving you an opportunity to take care of it now. And what is that going to do? I don't know. About my record. Okay. All right. All right. Have a good day. You put me if in there's jail. No, if... This video not only alerts us to legal issues, but also opens up an essential dialogue on how interactions between citizens and police can be improved to ensure mutual respect and protect everyone's rights. Under Georgia state law, a trespassing charge is only valid if the individual lacks a legal right to be on the property. I have a problem. Yes, I do. No, you yes, don't. Yes, I do. If, if I someone has somebody, to physically trespass, if I see you better look at here, Georgia state code. If I see somebody here at night walking behind a building. What's your name and badge? My number? name is... Mr. Walters, as the property owner, has every legal right to be on his own property. Therefore, the officer's accusation of him trespassing behind his building and demanding personal information violates his Fourth Amendment rights and property ownership rights. Two ten dispatch. Yeah, with a subject here. Hey. Oh, no Come here. I'm the owner of Waco D Huh? You better go look. Me okay. Up. You okay. No probable cause to stop. People walking behind this building right here. That that's fine. I got a back door. I'm okay. walking the circle. Well, I'm glad you do. But listen here. You don't. If someone has somebody, to physically trespass, if I see you better look at here, Georgia state code. If I see somebody here at night walking behind a Leon McKinney. Okay, that's not probable cause. Yes, it is because it takes a business I don't need, to trespass. I don't somebody. need probable cause. Yes, you do. I need articulable cause, and that's what I've got when yes. I see somebody coming no, behind you the don't. building. Right no, yes, you I don't. Do. No, yes, you I don't. Yes, I do. Because you all got, these businesses are closed. You're matter. walking behind it. That, so I do have. I have a right to walk behind. What's your name? I told you my name, Lawrence Walters. Lawrence Walters. I'm not giving you my date of birth because you don't. You don't have reasonable I, yes, I do. suspicion. Yeah. I done told you. 20925 women. Upside. L Georgia listen Department here. of Listen here. A Treasury. Listen here. Calm down. Secretary of State. Calm down. Calm down. Fuck. Calm down. You are taking this way out of hand. No, I'm not, because I know my rights. Bill and I, 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 I get I have, that. Then I can but, walk, stop and, and ask them what they're doing. And I told was. But I don't know who you are. I'm just giving I you already name told and date you. of birth. What's your I, name? I'm not your giving you my date of birth. I gave you my name. Committed any crime. You're behind a I, building. You're I'm prowling. Here. Okay. You're Come lording on. and prowling. We'll settle this right now. Uh, Nowhere with you right now. How about we go over to my Let me tell you something. My business and I open up something. the door. Okay. I believe you now. So to stop you. Yeah, am I free to go? No. Because I want to know your yeah. name and date of birth so I can make I a report. Gave you, I already gave you I'm my gonna name. make a report. I'm gonna make a report of this. I already gave you my name. Do what you got to do. I answer no, no more questions.
The feeling of being labeled a criminal without a chance to explain is infuriating, and this is exactly what the citizen in the video is enduring. Such actions blatantly trample on the First Amendment, forcefully stripping away the citizen's legally protected rights to free speech and expression. No, no, when I first pulled up. When yeah, I, when I said I first you don't have up. no reason to stop me. And I do. No, you don't. You're wrong. Come on hey. from one of these businesses, it takes either Miss Moody or Wade Moody. They own this. They own that. Right? Business to trespass somebody. Let me tell you this. I know what Georgia law says. Let me tell you this. Ain't you glad I'm checking on these businesses? It's fine you're checking. You're, you're, you're hindering me from what I'm going to do. I'm not I, I want to go get nothing. something to eat because I've I've worked 18 hours today I, and I haven't had... You polite and talk to me I nicely. I was like polite. You did. No, I didn't cuss at you. The first thing that you said to me, you have no right to stop me. You, OCG. I don't, I don't have to look under no law. I do this constantly year okay. after year. Hey, that doesn't make it right. Listen. What's your name? You still haven't identified yourself my, to me. I, I'm telling you, my name is Leon McKinney. I know who you work for. And, I see and, that. And, and what else do you want from me? I'll give you anything I want. Your badge number. My badge number is 210. 210. That's all I wanted to know. Okay. But what is your name? I already told you my name. My name is you live. I live in Uvalda. Okay. That's that's the most you're going to get out of me. Okay. Because everything else, you can pull up my city license. I'm not trying to question you about nothing you can, like that. You can pull up Sorry. My department. I see him walking behind the building here. Mm -hmm. I just reason. And he said, you have no reason to stop me. No. I said, yes, you do. You're at a business and you're behind. You're coming behind. Stop you. no. But now, that's my date of birth. Law to and, and, but this is his. owner of the property. But this I is. I am a business owner. This is his business. Y'all say all the businesses are closed. They're not. My business ain't closed. <laughs> so there you go. I already matter. told. I, I give him my name. It does matter. Any, it, does, it, does I, matter. I, it doesn't matter to me. It, it might matter, matter to you. You, you better go look. An individual can only be charged with obstruction if they actively prevent the police from performing their duties with clear evidence of a crime. Refusing to provide information without a valid reason is legitimate, so arresting him on these grounds breaches the Fourth Amendment and constitutes an abuse of obstruction charges. Up at the code. I know what the code says. Then they show me the code. Don't tell me. Or arrest me then. Put your hands on your back. You're under arrest. What are you under arrest for? You have a charge for obstruction. <laughs> you know that's not going to stick, right? Oh, yes, of course. I did. I did. You'll see on your birthday. That's not compliant. I gave him my name. That's not compliant. I don't have to comply because I did nothing wrong. My business is not closed. What's your business? Retro D Games. It is not closed. Hey, I am open hey, for close because you're not there. No, it's not. You're How do you know there. I don't got an employee there? I don't. That's what. Where that's why. I, which one is it? Pull out my. It doesn't matter. I, 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 if the business is if the business is not closed, it won't be locked. It's locked. It's, it's closed. But that's not my hours of operation. Closed, but I can pull my keys it's off. It's I asked him, ask him to walk with me. I asked him to walk with me. I told you this. All you had to do is say, hey, officer, uh, this is my business right here. I, you know the first thing he told yeah, me? When I you was have walking. no right to stop me. Yeah. And you know then you said, you know what he's saying? That stuff out. He's We'll let this go. I will. I will give you my driver's license right now. You want too much TV, Bob. Let's go. Too much TV. Let's go, Mr. Walters. Can I get you? Let's go. Can I get Let's you? Let's get in the car. Let's go. Okay. I get it. I get it. You got, kind of get, you, got, you got anything on you? No, I don't. Can I go? Right, can I go and secure my money and my business before you take me to jail? Can you decide take me? Why? Why are you leaving? That's all at Circle K. And where is it at in your business? It's in my cash register. I haven't even left tonight. That's what I'm saying. I'm still open. Come, come on, this is totally I'm up to you. you. I'm telling you, something, you made a bad decision tonight. Okay, I made a bad decision. We all made. Go, be nice and talk to me. Like I did. I did talk to you. I didn't cuss no, at you. you. Didn't, did I cuss at you one time? First thing you said to me. Yeah, I've been about the law to me. I know. Go ahead and have a seat for me. I can't get in there. I'm too big. I got right. a knee problem. All right, all right do this. Do this. Sit, sit. Okay, and let me ask you: Is your business locked? No, sir. That's what I'm saying. My back door is not, not locked. The back no, door is not locked. No, I was just don't want him to enter my business. He has hey, to a warrant. He said, now he's saying he don't want you to enter his business. He, 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 he said that you need a warrant. I don't want you touching my door. I can touch your door all, all day long as long as I'm checking it. You ain't got no say so about that. I got. But this is. Totally I tell you this. I, I've never seen a business owner like you. 
Because I, I'm, uh, I had most, a rough day. I had a, cut me a break. I like the police. Cut me a, I do like y'all. I have no, <laughs> no. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You sure didn't show it. I ass. have deputies. I have, uh, Baxley police coming all the time. I treat them with the utmost respect and I Baxley give them a discount. Oh. Yes. Give me a break. This ain't, this ain't the way I'm, to go. I, I fixed the charge now because I've done arrested you. You can, you can stop no, no, that. No. Young. I, can you side take me? Because no. you can side take me. No. You can side take me. Right. Question. He says he's not answering no questions. All right, you have the right to make silent. Anything mm -hmm. you say can will be used against you. Attorney, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand your rights? Okay, go ahead and see. Just sit. You're making a mistake. Two ten dispatch. You got one in custody. I'm gonna FOIA that. I can't fit in. I'm telling you. I can't. I tell you what. I, I tell you what. Okay, step back out. I'm gonna put these cuffs in front of him so he can do it easier. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not here to hurt y'all or anything. I worked so eighteen hours. You don't have to pull the fuck the fall, man. No, I didn't tell okay. you. Okay. I told you the same story. I told you this. You said it was unlocked. I touched your door. I couldn't go inside. I could touch. I'm going to check it all night long. Ain't nothing you can do about it. That's what we're here for. Yeah. Get a lawyer, but what what I'm saying is, I didn't think I locked it when I went out. You know story. Yes, you did. About what? All right. About hey, what? Hey, which one? Do you this know? One? Huh? This this bill. That's what he said. That's short term memory loss. Okay. So, I didn't tell you no story. Okay. I, nothing I told you like is I a lie. Take it hey. Hey. Can I call my wife? Let her know. Not, not right now. Not right now. When I get to the jail. Yeah, yep. When you get up there. From here, my keys down. I got to set them in the same spot. I haven't had my medicine tonight, and I have a... When we get up here, we'll call your wife. She can bring your medicine to the jail, right. okay? Two ten dispatch, Pete. Where's my? You know what the is? No, sir, I don't. I don't know. They will be his people, and God Himself will be with them and be their God. Here from their eyes. This is why there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. No, I didn't get my feelings hurt. No, I didn't. I treat you with respect. At no time did I come to you. At no time did I lie. My body can just walk up to the door and open the door. Okay. And that would have solved all of your But it's a... Fiction was already just spelled when you told me you that you was the owner because you wouldn't give me your date of birth. Yes. Was the spell choose I told you. Okay. So that therefore under Georgia code. Okay. No right to get your name and and birthday so I can make a report. I gave you my name. You didn't give me your birthday. You give me my birthday. You don't have to make a report. Okay. The outcome for this unfortunate man is deeply troubling, highlighting the overreach of officers who misuse their authority. This isn't just an isolated incident, it's a clear reflection of the heated debate over privacy rights, property rights, and the conduct of law enforcement in modern society. Thank you for staying with us throughout today's video. We hope each encounter opens up a new lesson on how we can stand up for our rights in a society where trust is slowly fading. If you've ever found yourself in similar situations, let us know how you overcame it by leaving a comment below this video. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to stay updated on this important topic.